I'm Lauren O'Brien, one of the dietitians at the Sargent Choice Nutrition Center, and today I'm going to be making a quinoa taboule. Taboule isn't traditionally made with quinoa, but it's a great source of whole grain and complete protein, so that's why we made the switch for this dish. We're going to start by cooking the quinoa. So we're going to add about a cup of quinoa to our pot. We're going to add about a cup and a quarter of water to that. And we're just going to add a pinch of salt. We're going to cover it and bring it up to a boil. Once it reaches a boil, we're going to allow it to simmer for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna move over to make our dressing. For our dressing, it's going to be a lemon garlic dressing. So to mince the garlic, I'm gonna smash it with the broad side of my knife to get that peel. Definitely wanna make sure that you're getting a super fine mince on the garlic because otherwise you're gonna get a really big chunk and it's probably not gonna taste that good. And the way to best accomplish that is just by kind of running the knife over it in a back and forth motion. Now I'm going to juice my lemon. I'm gonna use a fork to do that, basically so that it can break up the membrane so we can get the most juice out of the lemon possible. Next up, I'm gonna measure out about a half a cup of the olive oil, but I'm gonna add it slowly, a little bit at a time, just to kind of get that full blend of the nice rich flavor of the olive oil with the juice. And our last portion. And whisk again. So it really incorporates the lemon juice into that and also the garlic when you kind of blend it a little bit at a time. I'm just gonna season it a little bit with some black pepper and just a tiny pinch of salt just to give it a little bit more flavor, draw out the flavor of everything that's in there. And I'm gonna set it aside until we're ready to add it to the quinoa. All right, quinoa's done, so we're gonna take that off the stove. We're gonna transfer it to a bowl and then put it in the fridge to cool while we do the rest of our recipe. Now we're gonna cut up some vegetables for the tabbouleh we have about a half a cup of mint. You want to make sure that you're getting it really nice and small and fine. So you want to kind of push all of it together. And then same thing, we're just going to rock through. Next up is English cucumber. This is a great one for this dish because it's a seedless cucumber. So there's not going to be so much water and seeds that are going to kind of take up and soak into all of our quinoa. So we're going to cut the ends off of the cucumber. With any vegetable that's kind of a rolly vegetable, you want to kind of get it on a flat surface. So we're gonna have it and we're gonna cut it again. And then from there, you want as uniform pieces as you can. You don't want really big chunks of cucumber and then some really small chunks, but overall you just want some nice even slices. Next up is our scallions. You wanna cut off kind of this dry rough part at the top. Depending on your preference, you can keep the white if you want to. I usually do, it adds a really nice flavor. We're just going to cut it into really nice small slivers. So now we're gonna cut up our curly parsley, always part of a traditional tabbouleh dish. You wanna just kind of cut off some of the rough stems that are on here. And similar to our mint, we want all those really nice leafy parts of it. Last up is our cherry tomatoes. We're gonna to add a full pint of cherry tomatoes to the dish, add some really nice acidity to it, but it also adds some really nice color as well. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut those in half. Make sure your knife is really sharp for this point because cherry tomatoes tend to crush under the weight of the knife otherwise. All right, now that we have all of our vegetables chopped and cut, we're gonna add the quinoa to it and add that dressing. Give that a quick mix. I'm gonna re-whisk our dressing just to make sure that everything's incorporated. I'm gonna add about half to three quarters of the dressing Gonna give that another mix. Try and make sure that everything's nice and coated and then drizzle the remainder over the top. And that's it, we have our quinoa taboule. This is great for a side dish or for an entree. You can add some nice whole wheat pita chips to it, but it's definitely a great choice for either. It tastes even better the next day because all of those really nice flavors from the garlic and the lemon soak into the quinoa. So feel free to make and enjoy. Mm -hmm.